Okay, so here we've, we've got the actual set. You can, you can buy these individually, but the nice thing about getting a set is you actually get you know, a free uh, mechanical pencil and uh, extra lead. So let's open this up here. On that side. Okay, so here's your 12 inch, okay, and your six inch, and then your mechanical pencil and the extra lead, all right? So let's see what these can, can do. So let's pull this guy out here. Look. All right. I also want to point out that they do have magnetic bottoms on them, so you can stick them to metal things to, to measure with. All right. So now, for making a right angle, it works just like a, any other square. You know, make a easy right angle and draw off the side. Okay. Um, but the cool thing about this is you can. All right. To measure the angle, we go from this point, which here which uh, coincides with this, oh, the flat uh, flat side. So um, from that point, okay, to measure any angle, just put it in the hole. So say you want to do a 45 degree angle. So we'll measure that, uh, that hole there. Okay, and you see there's the, the dot. Okay. And you go back to the original, original spot and measure our 45 degree angle, okay? All right, and another thing you can do with this is, uh, Okay, now these outer circles, these are for doing layout. So we set this against the edge, and let's just say we want to make a half inch line uh, across the board. And we can do that just go like this, like so. Okay. Um, and if we make another line, um, let's say we want to do this on a four inch. So we can do this. And then we want to do a five inch line. Okay. So you can lay out the lines really easy with this, real simple. I'm sorry, that wasn't a half inch, that was a two and a half inch. Yeah. Okay, to use the centering function of the square, you want to, uh, this is zero, your center, right here, like that. Okay, so, but you have to measure, make sure that the edge have the same number. So we're gonna go with a two inch on this one. So see the two there, and the, uh, the two here. Okay, so at that angle, this is zero. Okay, so if I draw that angle, So this is going to be the, the center point, all right? So no matter what angle you have, you just line up the, the two digits that match on either side of zero, and you'll find the center point. All right, let's check the squareness of these new squares. And you can see on the flat table here that they are perfectly square. Lined right up. Can't see anything that they light through. Okay, and here's the small one lined up against the square. Okay, and again, perfect. 